All right, hey Sagittarius, so I am doing a new moon read for you guys. And you're going to know this is your read, obviously, by your energy, but I'm going to, I mean, they have just been on point this whole time. So I can't say you won't resonate with the entire read some way, somehow. So we're going to start with a spell card, and you guys are coming through with card number eight, which is Destiny. Excuse my arm. Um, we have, this is going to be um, an affirmation of sorts that you're going to carry with you through the next 30 days. So write it on a paper. All right, all of that I shall need to know as I walk now shall be shown. Um, so you guys could be walking around with questions about everything, you know, um, the future. But what I got to tell you with destiny coming through, um, don't don't be too anxious about the future. You don't want anxiety about the future. All right, all that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be known. Ask, all right, demand what it is you want to see, what you're asking for, what your hopes are, your wishes are. Your moon card coming through. We have full moon and Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. All right. That is um, a, your, that's a couple of your oracle cards. So let's just see where your energy has been lately. Sagittarius. Your energy as of late. Wow. Kind of going here and there. This and that energy. The Ace of Cups. So I kind of feel like what's happening right here is uh, there's definitely a, an emotional connection that I feel like you're going back and forth on. Um, I don't feel like it's wishy-washy in your in your energy per se. Um, I don't feel like you are being wishy-washy, but the situation that you have um, are trying to um, get insight on the most heavily, um, it could be where you're kind of sitting at. I feel on one front, you could be like, screw this, screw them, screw that. Um, but on the other end, there is a fresh start that really, really wants to come through with you and whoever it is that's kind of occupying your heart space. I don't feel like it's going to be limited to love um, in the romantic aspect, but it could just be somebody that's very, very near and dear to you that you're not reconnecting with. But I do feel that you're kind of, hey, what's going on with the situation right here, right? So I'm going to pull an Ascension card and we're going to see who's walking with you, who you can reach out with, who is at your side um, in instantaneously when you need it. Okay. So let's see who's walking with um, Sagittarius. Sagitt I think I just um, said your, your guys' Zodiac with a lisp. And this card fell in my lap. We have Pallas Athena. Pallas Athena is known as the goddess of truth and wisdom. She is the lord of karma for the fourth ray and holds the sword of truth to show humanity the way. Although she wields her sword for the highest ideals and divine truth, she prefers to use wisdom to settle disputes. Right? Your guidance is to follow her example. See the higher perspective in all areas of conflict. Draw your abundance of wisdom and tact to communicate with everyone concerned and use the sword of truth to point the divine way forward. Your affirmation with you that you should carry over the next 30 days to the next new moon is I use the sword of truth to lead the way. All right. Sit in, sit in your guys' divinity. Sit in your higher, you know, that, that you know, just... You got it right there. You guys, if, if you um, feel the need to correct me on my pronunciations with some of these um, terms, go ahead. Feel free. All right. So next I'm going to pull a crystal card. And this is going to be um, a card that you, a, a stone that you can work with. If you don't want to work with the stone, just take a couple of seconds to look at the image that comes through on this card because it's going to activate something in your subconscious um, and this is also going to bring to light um, an area of healing or manifestation, okay? So, Sagittarius, you guys are coming in with a uh, hem hemimorphite. Hem I'm sorry, I cannot uh, <laughs> pronounce some of these. Hemi hemi hemimorphite. All right, and this is the eagle egoless state. The egoless state. So just take a minute to look at this and I'm going to clarify why this card is coming through for you because this is going to give you some sort of transparency to what's going on. If you think about the ego, that is having an attachment, having a fear, being bound to something, feeling controlled by it, you know, um, that that's that's the ego. And right here, this card is is basically coming through as an activation for the egoless state, the state of conscious, the state of mind, or however you're going to sit with that card. Um, and I feel like this does kind of pull through with what is happening here. Um, 
when we let go of attachments to people, places, and things, um, it helps us to move forward. So let's just see why the egoless state is coming through as a favorable form of manifestation for you. All right. Why is this card here? We have the King of Cups showing up. The egoless state. So it's, yeah, look at that. We have the tower card coming through. This is like relinquishing, um, you know, and this is not, I didn't mean for this read to be um, a call for release. Um, but if you guys are really heavily, um, you know, kind of contemplating an outcome, having anxiety for the future, worried about the, the future that's going to happen. All right. With you and whatever it is, that's coming through. Um, it's time to release that when we release um, that when we try to, when we release that, that need to try to control a situation, even through our thoughts, everything starts working in our favor. Okay. You have the King of Cups coming through in reverse. And I feel like this right here, if you've been kind of, um, if you've been swindled by some sort of emotional manipulation, if you've been somebody who's, if you've been kind of dealing with somebody who's extremely moody, or if you found, if you have find, found yourself in that, it's like, I'm, this is not me. I'm, this is not my character. This is not who I am. Um, it's almost like it's time to call yourself back to you, especially if you guys have been um, ex like on a spiritual journey. It's like, you're already going to know what I'm talking about. And you're like, yeah, but you're going to check yourself on it th through that situation or through that idea too. All right. You also have contracts coming through. I can't help but feel that contracts is kind of tying into the connection that needs to, that needs healing. It's like almost telling me that at one point in time, you could have been best friends with this person. It doesn't matter what dynamic, um, but it's like, I want that. I want that situation. I want that person back. Right. Um, now is, and I feel like the healing is actually calling for you to heal yourself because I feel like for whoever's here, you're off kilter. This is not your regular energy. You know, it's like, you know, about law of attraction, you know, um, quantum physics, you know, what, um, manifestation is like, you're not, you're that, that is not new to you. And for whoever I'm talking about when applied to relationships, you definitely know, and that, that you're in a, an energy that doesn't, um, it's not sitting with you. This is not your typical energy. All right. So on the magic scale, let's see what is coming through as a favor for you. Um, it's like, bring, bring me back. I call my power back to me. I'm not going to let anybody take my power away from me. Um, especially through situations of the past that we cannot control. Right. So now is a favorable time to call in that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, whether it's for you, the situation, the person or yourself, it's time to call your power power back into you and sometimes our our self our self love and our and our growth and care that's going to be more important first than because if you if you're not taking care of yourself first you guys aren't going to be able to to help or take care of anybody else all right so here we have another card um you need to pay attention to the symbolism because this is also a subconscious um, activator you got dreamscape coming through dream work subconscious and imagination pulling through as a favor all right for um for the new moon so let's see why dreamscape is coming through because this right here is going to grant you um wisdom it's going to uh, um, kind of light the path to whatever it is that you've been dealing with so let's see what favorable aspects are coming through with uh, dreamscape wow right out the gate we have independence you got abundance you have independence but i feel like this is more in embodying the self you guys um the hermit card if you felt kind of alone if you felt like you don't have anybody there, you can't really talk to anybody. I feel like what your spirit guides is saying, you're, there's a reason why. Okay. Um, there's a reason why. Look at that. We have the palace Athena card talking about the sword of truth and we have the queen of swords coming through here. So with the magic that's coming through for you, um, you have courage, you have, um, you have independence independence times two coming through very, very strong. And I feel like that is on the business end, the money end. And it's like, Hey, you know what? Let's just draw back our energy. So if you can't control a situation or an outcome with a person, which we can't, everybody has free will. It's time to tap back into your energy. The hermit card also is a very spiritual card. So spiritual wisdom is coming through. Um, I feel very, very strong on, on a, a positive manifestation for you right now, stepping back into your true authentic power. Like I don't need anybody. This is all, this is all like independence. This right here is money. It's business. It's stabilities. Um, also kind of find Finding your, your inner, your, your voice. All right. Setting boundaries. If you have trouble setting boundaries with people, if you have um, trouble, you know, with disrespect from other people, it's time to find that tone inside of you. I'm not putting up with it no more. It's time to step back into who you were. And if you felt, if you have let somebody 
kind of take away or deduct from who you are as a person. It's time to call all your power back in. It's time for you, basically, this new moon is telling me, it's time for you to step back into the person that you were before this um, situation that's been kind of, you know, holding over in your heart space. Um, with the Queen of Swords, we have um, business and business mentality. Um, this is um, boundary setting, independence, financial growth. Um, and then we have spiritual wisdom coming through very heavily. So I'm going to pull a few more aspects to see what you can call through for manifestation. Um, let's just see. I guess I'll keep all three. I was only pulling two. All right. So the first one we have is Ansos. It, this is communication. All right, this is communication, it's sound and it's breath. I feel like this is more about a personal healing journey for you guys than anything. Um, I feel like you guys haven't been yourselves lately. We have Tiwas, victory, justice, success, balance, and fairness coming through. I feel a situation that you have been very, very much um, mistreated by Iwas. Trust, cooperation, loyalty, and commitment coming through. I mean, I feel like that commitment and loyalty and whatever is kind of in alignment with what you're going through comes through also with your, um, the, the, letting go of what we can't control. You're going to hear everything you need to hear. Everything you need is going to come through. All right. So let's just see. Um, that was an accidental drop. So I'm going to pull another final card for you guys. Look at that. We have my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe and how um, how synchronistic to kind of tie this read off with that card. You guys, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a good month when it comes to the new moon.